I'm Louisiana Commissioner of Agriculture and Forestry, Dr. Mike Strain. Welcome to Strain Farms. We're going to be talking everything about bees today. First thing we're going to do, we're going to give them a little bit of smoke. The whole idea, if they smell that, then they will be less, they'll stay closer into the hive. Well, first I got into beekeeping because as commissioner, I'm also the commissioner of the division of apiary, which means bees. So I regulate all the beekeeping in the entire state. So to better understand, you know, the, all the aspects of beekeeping, understand the diseases that are involved and all the rules and regulations, well, there, it's really critical that I become a beekeeper. Break that away. And we're gonna move this here. Now you can see how very heavy that is because it is full of honey. This is the brood chamber where the queen's going to be in here. Each hive has a queen bee and you can tell, you can see them if you open up the brood chamber. The bees of that hive tend to take on the attitude of the queen bee. But this is what we're looking for. Isn't that beautiful? I love my bees and my bees love me. My bees and I are very tight very close. That's part of beekeeping. They know me. Okay, kiddos, time to go. If you have healthy bees, you're gonna have a healthy environment. Now you gotta think about that. If you have healthy bees, then the surrounding environment has to be healthy. And so they're also very good sentinels about the overall state of the, of the environment where you live. It's all right, kids, it's all right. Each of these hives would generate between 50 and 80 pounds of honey. You know, there are many crops that cannot grow without bees. If you look for specifically, if you like almonds, right? They require bees. No bees, no almonds. And we're gonna take a decapping knife. It's a heated knife, and we're gonna cut off the wax of the cells on both sides, and then we're gonna take and put it into the centrifuge. It's very important that when you put the racks in that they're loaded properly and sitting in place and just start turning. Let's take a look. And you can see how the honey's out of the cells. They still glisten. So what we will do is that we will bring these back close to where the bees are. And as the old timers say, they'll lick them clean. This is a bucket that's got a filter on it, and we're gonna get the honey now out of the centrifuge. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful amber color. If you want more information, call us you know, and, and talk to us at the Department of Ag and Forestry, or check out and find a local beekeeping organization near you.